With knowledge comes power. Detecting the BRCA gene mutation is the first step towards preventing future cancers. Dr. Samus Sandati specializes in gynecological disease. By employing these screening techniques early and by counseling them on risk-reducing strategies, we can definitely hopefully decrease the incidence of ovarian cancer. The two BRCA genes produce tumor suppressor proteins that provide quality control to DNA. If either gene is mutated, it can't do its job. Cells are more likely to deviate and lead to cancer. When it comes to ovarian cancer, many women will begin with active surveillance. We would schedule it to have a transvaginal ultrasound at least once a year, but preferably every six months and also check a CA-125. It's a blood test. It's not specific to ovarian cancer, but it's a marker that we utilize in our algorithm. Prophylactic surgery is an option for both breast and ovarian cancer. If it's done before menopause, removing the ovaries actually reduces the risk of both diseases because the ovaries are the main source of estrogen, which impacts forms of breast cancer. In these BRCA-positive patients, we can reduce their lifetime risk of breast cancer by about 50% by taking out the ovaries and tubes. And we could also reduce their lifetime risk of ovarian cancer to about that of the general population. A personal decision, many women choose monitoring until they're finished with childbearing. By the age of 40, we recommend that they do have their tubes and ovaries removed. Genetic testing is recommended for people with a strong family history of breast or ovarian cancers. Early diagnosis can be a game changer and a lifesaver. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.